world with decent conversations. conversations. Same yesterday, today, and forever. He never 
Yesu ruka, ruka kwa 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 Yesu ruka. Wakusifiwa, wakuhabudiwa, ni wewe tu, mungu wa miungu e. Wakusifiwa, wakuhabudiwa, ni wewe tu, mungu wa miungu. Kwa wakusifiwa, wakupewa sifaa, ni wewe tu, mungu wa miungu e. Wakusifiwa, wakuhabudiwa, Okay, I see for a moon, okay, I see. 
mtu yote ni yako wewe ni Mungu mwenye nguvu wewe ni mfalme wa mfalme wewe ni bwana wa mabwana haupimanishi au linganishi fadhili zako ni za milele uweza wako ni wa ajabu unayoyatenda hakuna mwingine anaweza kuyafanya Oh bwana unaweka njia pasipo na njia wewe bwana unapasua mahali wewe ni mfalme mkuu wewe ni jemedani wewe ni mwenye enzi wewe ni mwenye nguvu wewe ni mwenye uweza wote unastahili yawe yawe unastahili yawe 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 rabo sikata rabo setere bosa yawe we worship you yawe we worship you wewe we worship you rebo sikara baya rabo sikara baya rebo sikere boya tuakuabudu mwenyezi mungu upeke yako akura mwingine
We give you glory. We worship your holy name. We exalt you, God. You are on our call. There is none like you, our God. You are highly lifted. You are enthroned in this place. We lift our hands this morning to worship you, God. We magnify your holy name. You are Jehovah Yahweh. You are the Lord Almighty. You are our founder. You are the creator of the universe. You are our God. We worship you. We lift your holy name. We exalt you. None is like you, Jehovah. You are incomparable. Shalava Sotana Baga. Let's tell the Benevesi. Let Katana Balabasia. God of five summer battles. You are thrown in this place. You are lifted in this place. We worship you. We call you Yahweh. We call you our Father. Sharapa Katanaba. Let the Televelebelebesia. In Lava Sotana Manaba. Let Kotabari Hasia. The Shetetebelehez. Ria Riva Sotanaba. Makatanaba. Lopa Sotemana. Oh, the gods of the ones of men, but you are on a God, 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 oh, the gods of the ones of men, but you are on a God, you are mighty to save, you are mighty to deliver, you are mighty to hear, you are highly lifted in this place of a God. We receive you in our hearts. We receive you this morning, our God. We receive you, our God. We receive you, our God. We receive your blessing. We receive your joy. We receive your victory. We receive your blessing. We receive your God. Sare matana mana bana bana basia. Shere sere mana bana basia. Leto makatana mana bana basia. The Bible says that I may know you and the power that lays in from the day. If you're in this place, if you're in the presence of the living God, just desire. Just desire his blessing. Desire that you may know him. Desire that you may encounter him. Desire that you may experience his power. He is a God that enthrones her. He is a God that takes the poor for the hardship and causes them to die with kings. He is in our midst. We desire him. We desire that we know him. That we may know him. And the power that lays Christ from the dead. We desire him. We decide, we decide, that you may be enthroned, enthroned as a God, above every mountain, above every pastorage, in our lives. We worship your God, we exalt your holy name. You can put your hands together and celebrate the blessings of the living God. In this place, we celebrate your King. We celebrate your God. We celebrate you. We celebrate you. We celebrate you. I You are God. There is no argument about that. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We are, coming, uh, we are coming from the season that we experience and we encounter the impartation of grace in the month of July. We receive the grace to change our levels. And I know and I'm convicted, just as I am, I know that your levels, your convictions have changed. Your dimensions in prayer have changed. You are real, your faith is in another dimension. I know you are not in the same level. I know you have shifted in the things of God, in, the, in your prayer life, in the worship of God. I know that you have shifted. And now... We have been ushered into our season of easy and enthronement. And the Bible records in the book of 1 Samuel, in the book of 1 Samuel 10, 10 to 11, the Bible says that when Samuel came into contact with prophets, as he was prophesying, 
as he was as he was prophesying, when they arrived in Gibea, a procession of prophets met him, and the Spirit of God came upon him in power, and he joined in their prophesying. Chapter eleven. When all those who had formerly known him saw him prophesying with the prophets, they asked each other, What is it that has happened to the son of Kish? Saul is Saul also among the prophets. And I want us to engage in a season of prophesying because your life has changed, because your dimension has changed. I want you to engage into a moment of prophesying. You can speak in tongues, you can declare the word of God that is seated in your spirit. But I, I assure Show you this morning as we prophesy in the spirit, in the presence of the living God, the situation, the situation, the situation that has known you, that has the situation that has been acquitted with your life, and they will leave you. In the mighty name of Jesus, Shate Makota Labahana, Leprete Telebele, Leto Pacatola Bahana, Ria Riva Sotelebele Hasinada. If you can pray in tongues, release the fire, release the tongues of fire, Aripa Shetara, La Posa Keta Rihana, La Pasota Lamadaba, Ria Riva Shetara Makolaba, Ria Rava Sotelebele Belebe, Itola Madaba Lava Lava Sina, In Lava Shota Mikotalia, In Lava Sota Mikotala. Awaken the giant in you. Awaken the intercessor in you. O Shita Mikota. Ria Riva Sota Mahana. La Catela Sona. Paria Ria Siaira. Il Leva Setola Manaba Lava Sia. Il Lava Sata Lava Lava Lava. Ria Rava Sharaba Lava Lava. Il Leva Setola Manobahara. Ria Tela Makota Lava. Ria Rava Sata Lava Lava. Le Cototo Toba. Paraba Sata Lava. Le Toto Riva Sia. Let us send an Power, let us clap hands in the presence of the living God. Asheto Makata Lava, Ria Riva Sotele Belele, Etele Bele 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 Basilava, Ria Rava Satana Manava, Ria Rava Satana Manava, Iloba Kotana Manava Sire, Ilava Sana Manava Sia, whatever has been acquainted with our worship, whatever has been familiar with our prayers, we are declaring the name of Jesus. We are changed levels, we are not the same. Our little men cannot be delayed. We are declaring. In the name of Jesus, we are entering into our enthronement. We are possessing our case. The Bible says the Lord that is allotted to the license for Shakatanaba, no scepter can learn, can last on our inheritance. We enter Yaposhate, Lekote Tokata. We confront every power, we confront every throne. We declare in the name of Jesus, we go to be enthroned, we go to be enthroned. O Satella Makanaba, Riaraba Sotanamanaba. Let the Telebele Bessina take a tire somebody, take a tire, take a tire, take a tire, take a tire, take a tire. Let us come part of Shatela Macaraba. Si arriva tona madaba la balaba, le tona madaba la balaba sana, le tona madaba la balaba sia, le telele le bosene madaba la basia. Let us engage the weapon of the blood of Jesus Christ. We speak the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. In this atmosphere, oh power in the blood, power in the blood, power in the blood, power in the blood, power in the blood. Capture this atmosphere. Ashetopa kotana ba, ria tema tona ba hasa, ria riba sina mahana, le tole bele bele. Power in the blood, power in the blood, power in the blood of Jesus, power in the blood of Jesus, fortify our prayer altars, power in the blood of Jesus, sharpen our mouths, oh shetopa kata, le presetelele, le tolebele, le basilele, 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 le Etola manaba na ba na ba na ba, ria raba sata na manaba na ba, ille bele bo sata na manaba, ria riba shoka ta na ba, ria raba sata na manaba, ille bele 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 sere be, ria raba shato na manaba na ba siya. Our leprechaun sona, they are marked in the realms of the spirit. You never know the deliverances against your life. You never know the consultations that are being made against your career. In this city, let us rise in prayer. Let us enter into the realms of the. 
spirit, let us confront, let us cut, oh pakata, libra seteneva, ria riva sola manabanabasia, oh deliberation, oh negotiation, again is our season, in the city on a lobby, oh deliberation, oh negotiation, we scatter, we scatter, we scatter, we scatter, we scatter them, in the mighty name of Jesus, who shed a very fear, in the manabanabasala, we shall not be faced out, we shall not be a victor from our loans, from our inheritance. In the mighty name of Jesus, who reads in the Manabanabasia, our careers shall not be swallowed, our businesses shall not be destroyed. Who reads it in the city, 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 by the power in the blood of Jesus. Oh, Shana Manabasaya. Father, we give you glory. Father, we worship you. Father, we exalt you. Somebody say amen. Amen, amen. Lift up your hearts in the presence of the living God. By the power in the blood of Jesus. We capture this atmosphere to carry grace and grace. By the power in the blood of Jesus. We capture our atmosphere. We capture this atmosphere to carry place, place in the mighty name of Jesus Christ by the power of the blood of Jesus. By the power of the blood of Jesus, we capture this atmosphere. We capture this atmosphere. We capture the atmosphere over our services, over VSC, or shed over And we declare grace. We speak grace. We speak grace. Grace upon every mountain. Grace upon every altar. Grace upon every limitation. Grace upon every evil throne. We cry grace by the power. The blood by the power of the blood of Jesus, Marosatora Macanaba, Ria Rava Satana Madabasia, Let Socatana Madabasa, in the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, by your spanational heart, oh God, by your spanational heart, oh God, deliver us from demonic oppression, sponsors by the rulers of the city. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Matoleba Sekara Madabasaya, by your uh, by your power, by your supernatural power of God, deliver us, O God, deliver us, O God, deliver us, O God, deliver us, O God, from the oppression, from demonic oppression of the rulers of the civil. In the mighty name of Jesus, by your supernatural heart, by your supernatural heart, deliver us, O God, deliver us, deliver us, deliver us, deliver us. Us, deliver us from every demonic oppression, from every demonic oppression. But God tell of us, God trip at the land. He said, "Petola madaba saya, riya te madaba madaba sanaba, riya raba shereva, illa ba satara madaba madaba siya, riko paroba siya, riya riba shena madaba riya." In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we punish all poverty demons. We banish all poverty demons. We banish all poverty demons. Release against our, our businesses. Release against our careers. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Matori has set on a lepretelemacari, Los Sotana Maria Sirana, Les Setete Mecaloba, La Sila Dina Liha Sia, Les Sopelo Macara, Ria Temanava Sinaba, Lopra Catala Canada, La Tatala Madava Sia, we punish, we punish, or poverty the demos, we lease against our business, we lease against our careers, we love us, Sela Madava, Ria Lava Satana Mada, he drop. Kotana Mahana, Ria Riva Sena Manaba, Itro Patella Mahasi, Ria Leva Setana Mada, Ilova Sotana Manaba, Ria Riva Kotana Manaba Sia, in the mighty name of Jesus, we punish, we punish, we punish, we punish, oh, who was the Tamos, who shall live a Kotana Bar, Elisa Kenesawa Karia, Elisa Kenesawa Pisan, in the mighty name of Jesus, 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 our businesses will not collapse, in the Jesus Christ, our careers shall not be terminated. We 
arise and declare oh toma te temos oh toma te temos le pete te le beca lo paca tadi hacia il la basana madavana il le fle sotana mada il lo saba kana mada vacia dao toma te temos oh sickness oh chilas oh wish cloud release upon our business release upon our business what set to live behind here ria riba sana madavana il to pa conta riba il la basana madavana vacia oh toma te temos oh toma te temos oh toma te temos oh toma te temos oh des la la va katana va e preto to riha e prese te de el to pa conta ra il la basia il la basana va il la basana madava e preca to la madava il la madava la va il la madava la basia le prese le mele basia toma te temos toma te temos of fires the reason que ne so business il la sariana e tro pa to la mada raria si la bica to la va Satana mana mana basaya in the mighty name of Jesus In Jesus name we pray Somebody say amen We are continue to dethrone every evil altar that is lifted against this uh, 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 our life and this city in the name of Jesus Christ and the bible says the word of the lord in genesis 41 38 and 44 So for now ask them can we find anyone like this man in whom is the spirit of God Then Pharaoh said to Joseph since God has made all this known to you there is no one so discerning and wise as you You shall be in charge of my palace and all my people shall submit to your orders only with respect to the throne will I be greater than you I want to understand I want us to understand there is power in the thrones As we continue in prayer our leverage shall be teaching us and engaging us in prayer let us give us have your seats in the presence of the living god as we leave the announcements amen amen i appreciate the grace and the anointing that is upon our bishop and our leverage help me as i pray them amen amen We appreciate those that are joining us through CTN and online in the name of Jesus Christ. Our 18-day prayer program demolishing evil thrones and raising the throne of Christ in our city is ongoing. We are meeting in the church every hour, even in service Monday to Friday, to all our men. Breakfast is coming on the 28th of August from 9 to 11.30. More information on our men's meet page. Registration for the second membership class is ongoing at our bookshop. classes to begin on 9th October induction to be to be on our family Saturday on the 4th of December or kawakas you are requested we shall be having a meeting after the last service on our Saturday school grounds amen amen i invite the praise and worship for the ministration
Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate the King of Kings. Celebrate him with a shout of praise. I will enter your gates with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Are you grateful to be in church this morning? Has the Lord dealt with you kindly? Come on, clap your hands. I will enter your gates with thanksgiving, hallelujah. Oh, I will enter your gates with clapping, hallelujah. I will enter your gates with singing, hallelujah. Oh, I will enter your gates with dancing, hallelujah. Somebody does. I will enter your gates with singing. Hallelujah. Oh, with thanksgiving. 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 Oh, with The fire in the service. I will enter your gates with jumping. Hallelujah. Oh, with this giving. 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 Are you grateful? If you are in church today, this morning, Mami, I come up to Kanisa this week. We are leaving. Kila silaha ili ondoa kinyume na wewe. Back to send. Osipa na utuku funi zako ewe mungu angu and maundo. Osipa na utuku funi zako elohima.
second and uh, we had written it is 18 days until the 24th but another direction has come after 10 years every time every time number 10 and number 70 they work together because they are perfect numbers I'll not explain a lot but Moses was told to 70 elders every time God uses number 70 as we have come to the year of completion the 10 year of completeness it is important we dedicate 70 days of this year. Ah, ah, ah. So we are not going to pray for 21. No. 70. So until October 12th, prayer continues. Prayer continues. Prayer continues. prolonged and extended warfare like the one we've had for COVID requires extended exposure to vibrant prayer. That is why we cannot pray as we used to. 21 days used to work. 7 days used to work. But now we must raise the standard. Because when the enemy comes in like a flood, we also must raise the standard. As the variants are increasing, we also vary in the way we pray. Amen. I can't hear your amen. amen. Give me Ezekiel 11 verse 3. Ezekiel 11 verse 3. And one of the major things we'll be praying is for this city. Amen. This city must become the way God wants. Amen. Give me King James. From now henceforth, be giving King James. I realized I studied the Bible in so many uh, versions until I'm not able to, but uh, you know, I've lost my ability to quote. So I will stick to King James. I'll be saying, thou, thou not thy we, half, we, we. So when you hear me, know that I'm trying to work on. Because claiming the Bible is also a weapon of warfare. Let's all read together. Give me from verse 2 so that we understand. Let's all read one to go. Then said he unto me, son of man, these are the men that devise mischief and give counsel in this city. We say it is not near. Let us build houses. This city is a candron, and we be the flesh. A candron is like a pot. It's like a pot. It is also defined as, a, 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 you know, like a commotion of emotions, like aggressive re, emotions, and or a cluster of emotions. So they are saying, the wicked are saying, let us build houses. This city is a candron. Any power that has made Nairobi a cooking pot, for the wicked, we are overthrowing them in the name of Jesus. Any power of the occult, any power, diabolic power, it must bow to the Lord. I can't hear you. Amen. amen. Lift up your voice and say, any power, any power, any power occultic power, diabolic power, divination power, that has made Nairobi a candle. Hear the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, we are praying for our city. Aramo shada da 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 bo, anarama zabaga da 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 ba 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 ba, zebeke cha ba 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 ba. In Jesus' name, do we pray? The Bible says that as we pray, they will do us no harm. So do not be afraid. When I say, Martin, I want warfare. You are not the one fighting. It is God that is fighting. And today we are going to talk about how to overthrow evil thrones. And you overthrow them when you carry a sword. Your sword will work for you. Amen. I can't hear your amen. amen. Among the many, um, the armor of God is a sword. The sword of the spirit. And we are using it to destroy, to demolish, and to build what we want. Lift up your voice and say, heads of occult. Witchcraft in this city, in the name of Jesus Christ, your days are numbered wherever you are. Die 
in your numbers. Die in your numbers. Heads of the occult. Heads of witchcraft in this city. Die in your numbers. Die in your numbers. Die in your numbers. Heads of occult. Heads of the occult. And the shatabagada. You are protected by the blood. They can do you no harm. You are protected by the sword of the almighty. Your sins are covered. Heads of the occult. Heads of witchcraft. Militating against this city. Militating against VAC. We declare your end has come. We cover this city by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name do we pray. It is not every hall that is open in this city, written church, that is a church. We will blow their cover. Anybody that is a narcotic is a ritualist and they are pretending to name church. We expose and blow their cover. Are you ready to pray? Because as long as this city is a cantron, even those that are righteous will never prosper. That is why the Bible says that let the righteous rise into power. Because when the righteous are rising into power, the city prospers. The way you have seen the degradation of our city, it is a sign that there is an atmosphere in the heavens that we have not dealt with. But we are up to the task. For it is not by power, it is not by might, but by the Spirit of God. Lift up your voice and say, any so-called man of God. I can't hear you. You know, if you don't pray, you will not be part of what is do God is doing. So now, if they were powerful, they would have killed you a long time ago. They would have killed you before you were born again. They are not powerful. In fact, that's why they operate in darkness. It is because they know the power they have is powerless power. But the enemy will use as intimidation. We are going to declare that any so-called man of God, any so-called church, any so-called institution, bearing the name of our God, but it's a lie. We expose you. We blow your cover. Are you willing to do that? Are you willing to do that? The media will not do it for us. It is us who will do it. For I will build my church. And the gates shall not prevail. They will not spoil for all of us. Uh -uh. It's not everybody who is preaching for money, yo. Money is the least God can give us. Money is the least. It's the least. Money is just money. There is more than what money can, cannot buy. That God can only give. And we already have it. Now and after this life. Amen. Being caught by the name of the Lord is the highest office. Ah, greater than any political office. Greater than any title that man can give you. In heaven and on earth. And it is not everybody who is preaching for money. God has remnants. Ask Elijah. Elijah was saying, I'm the only prophet left. And he was told, ah, you are mistaken. I have a hundred more that I have hidden in the tombs. In, sorry, I've hidden in uh, under, uh, underground. That you will never see them. We don't hide our own in the tombs. They are hidden somewhere in the in underground. Walikuwa mefichwa kwa mashimo. Ata say, kuna watumishi wa mungu tukiomba hii rombi. Watumishi wa mungu wa mefunikwa, watainuka. I don't like the way you are celebrating. Just because we are in the limelight, it doesn't make us the only one. But we need to take our space so that as they are uncovered, God will be glorified. And when we go to heaven, we shall be rewarded. We will be told you fought for the kingdom. You fought the battles of God. Lift up both of your hands. Are you determined like I am? Any so-called man of God or woman of God the name of the Lord in vain. <laughs> Pretending to be a, a good person. But they are messengers of Satan. Wherever you are, we declare your judgment. We declare your judgment. We declare your judgment. We declare your judgment. In a so-called woman or man of God. Pretending to be one of us. But they are messengers of Satan. We declare your judgment. We declare your judgment. Arise, O God. Arise, O God, and defend your 
church in this city. Arise, O God, and defend the church in Kenya. In a so-called man or woman of God. But they are messengers of Satan. They wear like us. They talk like us. They preach like us. But they are messengers of Satan. We declare in the name of Jesus. Enter into your season of judgment. Continue praying, continue praying. Something is happening. Manufacturing fake miracles, giving fake prophecies, acting and behaving like us, but they are not for us. They are not of our kingdom. Let your judgment begin in the name of Jesus. We shut the heavens over your head. We declare the heavens shall turn against you. The earth shall close its mouth. In Jesus' name do we pray. Can you shout three powerful amen? Amen. Take your seat in the presence of God. I want to welcome those that are watching us online and on CTN TV. I want to begin a teaching about swords. <laughs> the armor of God is comprised of many. There is a helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the shield of faith, the belt of truth, the shoes of the gospel of peace. But I want to dwell on the sword of the spirit. Because the Bible has addressed the sword in so many instances and we will deal with it. And we will ask God that by his sword of might, he will defend us and defend our territory. There are several swords that I will deal with. Maybe allowed, God allowing me, I will deal with in this service and the next service. There are like 12 swords that are written in the Bible. And each one of them represents something, a battle in your life. The first one is a sword of Pharaoh. The next one is a sword of Goliath. The other one is a sword of King Herod. The sword of Jezebel. Number five, the sword of Jeroboam. Number six, the sword of Athalia. The sword of King Saul. The sword of household wickedness. The sword of Gideon. The sword of spoken curses. Or the sword of the mouth. The sword of the wilderness. And the sword of the wicked. All those swords, we will do with them. And I pray that whichever sword that is working against you, that you shall defeat it by the sword of the spirit. There is a time we started about giants, but right now we are dealing with the sword. Because every throne is highly guarded. Do you understand that? Every throne is highly guarded. But the problem is we have believers that are so blessed, but they live without protection. They are so blessed, but they live without protection. Purity protects. Your purity is your protection. The next time before you compromise, before you defile yourself, know that you're yielding your power and you're removing the hedge over your life. The word of God in your mouth is your protection. As you speak the word of God, the word of God is a sword. It cuts, it separates meat from the bone. It cuts two way, the word of God. The blood of Jesus is a weapon, is a covering. Men of God that are living righteous and are having altars that carry fire are swords in your hand. So when God loves a man, he introduces you to a man of God that carries a true sword. Your parents are swords that fight for your blessing to live to last long. Anytime you injure them or you grieve them, you destroy your covering. You hinder your sword from being effective. So those are only but few examples. But I want to begin by dealing with the sword of Pharaoh. Sword of Pharaoh. The sword of Pharaoh is a sword of stubborn pursuers. Somebody say stubborn pursuers. Problems and things that pursue you 
and they are not even relenting. They are not deciding to go back. And most of the times, witchcraft, divination, magic is the preparing force. Is the force behind that. Anytime you see Pharaoh, witchcraft and Pharaoh are twin brothers. They are bad Pharaohs because there is no way Pharaoh would have challenged Moses without the backup of his diviners and the backup of the witch doctors that were dealing with him. In Exodus, Verse 18, verse 4, it talks about the, the sword of Pharaoh. Exodus 18 and verse 4. And the name of the other was Eliezer. For the God of my father said he was my help and delivered me from the sword of the sword of Who was Eliezer? He was a priest. You are a priest with God. There is a garment of priesthood that you are wearing like the one Moses was wearing. Your garment shall challenge your Pharaoh in the name of Jesus Christ. I can't hear your amen. amen. Open up your mouth and say, any stubborn pursuer pursuing my throne in the name of Jesus die by your sword. 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 In whose name? How God deals with Pharaoh it does, he makes sure he drowns with a sword. What was the source of power for Pharaoh? His power was in the waters. His power was in the waters. That is why among the many miracles that were done, they were done in the water. And Pharaoh died by the same water that he was using as a source of power. When God wants to destroy your enemy forever, he uses his source of power to kill him. And that is what I came to declare. Whatever the enemy is using against you shall become his death sentence in the name of Jesus. I can't hear you. Amen. But for you, what will make Pharaoh leave you alone is your sacrifice. Your determination. God is saying that you have been set free. But it doesn't just happen. You must put up a spirited fight and decide if God said it, I believe it. And nothing shall move me. God has already declared your freedom. But are you willing to contend until you win? Leave both of your hands and say, every Pharaoh pursuing my destiny. Every Pharaoh pursuing my destiny. Die by your sword. Die by your sword. Die by your sword. Ezekiel 30, 21. Mande bashata bagade. Mandara bashanda bagade. So bada dada bahande bo shaba. In Jesus' name do we pray. I'm trying to rush because of time. Ezekiel 30, 21. It says, son of man, I have broken the arm of Egypt. If God wants to make sure that the sword of the enemy will not work. He will not take away the sword. He will break the arm of the one who carries the sword. Uh -uh. Because there is nothing wrong with the Red Sea. There is nothing wrong with all the land of Egypt in itself. It was productive. The problem was the one that was sitting on the throne of Egypt. Huh. Where God is giving you, it doesn't matter who is sitting there. The earth and the fullness thereof belong to God. There are some of you that God will give you what they used to call haunted houses. But when you enter, they will become your promised land. Uh -uh, I can't hear you. Amen. You will inherit a land that people say it swallows in, is inhabitants. But when you get there, instead of being swallowed, you shall be catapulted. The problem is not the land. Everything that God created is good. The problem is the one that is sitting on the throne. And God has given you power to dethrone every king and every principality and every power that pulls against your covenant right as a child of God. If I were you, I would shout the loudest. Amen. Open up your mouth say any boasting Pharaoh by the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross fall down now fall down now fall down now in whose name do we pray son of man I have let's read the word of God I have broken the arm of Pharaoh 
the king of Egypt, and lo, it shall not be bound up to be healed, to put a roller to bind it, to make it strong, to hold the sword. When God wants to destroy Pharaoh, stubborn pursuers, he makes sure that he damages their arm beyond repair. Yani narola mungu inasema ya kwa manitavunja mkono wake Hata akitaka kuwekwa hile kitu inayekagwa mkono ndiyo irudiana Haita irudiana Chochote mungu anakupatia sahi Hata kitua kwa mkono wa adui Hata wakijaribu kufanya any kind of repair It shall not be possible God has doing some irreparable damage to the affairs of your life Anybody pursuing you using witchcraft I came to declare they are entering into their obituary They are, they are tragic it will never ever be reversed. If I were you, I would shout the loudest, amen. Turn around and say, Pharaoh must die. Ah. But Cabra Aage, Aitwe Marehemu. Mukono yake haitafanya kazi. Kuna watu wamezoea kukwendea kwa waganga. Mikono yao literally at your break. Watajaribu kwenda kwa hospitali mpaka nyingine lakini wataambiwa hakuna tiba. I declare any stubborn pasua of your family, stubborn pasua of your finances, stubborn pasua of your education, stubborn pasua of your children. I declare in the name of Jesus, irreparable damage. Irreparable damage. Irreparable damage. Irreparable damage. Jump and shout it. Nani mungu mwenyewe anaringa anasema I have broken hmm. Lift up your hands and say Any Pharaoh tormenting my life And tormenting the life of my family members Let your arm be broken beyond repair Let your arm be broken beyond repair Let your arm be broken beyond repair Wacha mkono wako ikatike Second Chronicles 1320. In Jesus' name do we pray. Let's read Second Chronicles 13:20. Neither did Jeroboam recover strength again. In the days of Abijah, and the Lord struck him and died again. They will never recover. Amen. What did Jeroboam do? Alienda kuchokoza watu kwa madhabahu. Yeyote anakuchokoza kwa sababu ya kubilong kwa hii madhabahu. Na ni kwa sababu ya anabilong kwa madhabahu ya mapepo. The Lord will do like he did to Jeroboam. He will strike them and they will never recover. those because they are confused. They are not sure whether we are genuine or not. It is normal for people to doubt us. Even, in fact, if they don't doubt us, we are not real. We, we must be tested. And it, I like the intelligence that people have. Wacha ni kuja nione kama wamoya na hubirigi ukweli. Ni muzuli. Come and test. Siata walikuwa na jaribu yesu. I have no problem with somebody that is careful about where they go spiritually. But my concern is people that have no enough spiritual sense kukuja kuchokoza madhabahu na wao hawana Jeremiah went when he was being told the prophecy ya kwamba as God has said you you are not taking over the throne you are going to die akaanza kushika akashikilia the pillar of the of, of the altar by the time he withered after with the bible is saying that neither did Jeremiah recover strength after hiyo time haku recover Mungu atachapa maadui wako wale wanatumia uganga yote amekumixia hirisi akakupatia ukunywe they will never recover wewe ndio utakunywa poison lakini wao ndio watakufa that only happens in spiritual warfare that only happens except unforgiveness and forgiveness it is you that drinks poison and expect the other person to die but in spiritual warfare the Bible says even if you drink poison, it will not harm you. 
but it will harm the one who sent the poison. Lift up your voice and say, any Pharaoh pursuing my finances. Are your finances in order? Si ungekuwa mbali sana. Lakini kila mara ukifika karibu kubarikiwa, unaona mabili zinaongezeka. That is a Pharaoh. Every time you are about to go, akiona unaanza kunawili, anaongeza kazi, anasema uko idle. Any time you see after a blessing, there are more needs that are emptying you. You are dealing with the sword of Pharaoh. Because the, the work of Pharaoh is not only to stubbornly pursue, but to oppress you. But we declare we are breaking free. We are breaking free. Lift up your voice and say, any sword of Pharaoh afflicting my finances in the name of Jesus. Die with your honor! Ay, 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 emotion. In Jesus' name do we pray. What is our confidence? Ephesians chapter 1. You may have your seat. What is our confidence as we pray these prayers? Ephesians chapter 1 verse 21. Christ has already placed us far. Let's all read this word of God together. I want to go. Give me from verse 20. Give me from verse 20. Which he wrote in Christ when he raised him from the dead. Verse 21. Far above what? Uh-huh. 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 And every name that is named. Not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. It means by the time you are praying this prayer, you already have a throne yourself. Because where are you seated? With Christ in heavenly places. Far. Far. Principalities are in the second heaven, but as we live in the third heaven. That's why they used to sing in Kiku Goboka, you may they know. Magagania mekuo, the matare mekuo. As much as many people think they were ignorant, there is a realm where you live. What does happen on the earth realm while you are protected? Hi. Are you hearing me? Far above principality. Those, those look like thrones. Power, might, dominion, and every name that is named. Not only in this world, but in the world which is to come. That is the confidence you have. That you are not fighting from here. You are fighting from above. Philippians 2.10. At the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Of those in heaven and those in earth and those under the earth. It means that the name that we have is a name that enthrones you above all other names that are named here. Which doctors are only names? We have a name that is above every name. Can you shout the name of Jesus three times? So what makes you overcome the sword of Pharaoh is your persistence, consistence in sacrifice. You will be tempted beyond what you can bear to stop sacrificing for your God, but sacrifice until the end. Pharaoh, even if he pursues you, he will drown in the source of his strength. Number two, the sword of Goliath, which will be uh, because of time. The sword of God. First Samuel chapter 17 and verse 51. First Samuel chapter 17 and verse 51. Um, it says, Therefore David ran and stood upon the Philistine and took... Okay, uh, when you're done with writing, kindly let's read. Okay, one to go. Fred. When the Philistines saw their champion was dead, there is one battle you will win that nobody else will need to, to be told to organize their life and leave you alone. <laughs> May you receive that one victory that will announce to your enemies that you are not cheap material. May you have that testimony that will make household powers disappear from you forever. 
open up your mouth and say, my father and my God, just one victory that will announce me before my enemies. The sword of Goliath is the sword of intimidation. It is the sword of intimidation. For 40 nights and 40 days, he would go before the children of Israel and tell me, anybody dare me, touch me. And the children of Israel, because they were intimidated, they would run and go and hide. But David did the opposite. He ran towards Goliath. Chochote umekuwa unatorokea, ni wakati wakukiangalia macho kwa macho. Useme ni mechoka kutoroka. This singleness you've been running away from, it is time to look at it in the eye and tell, I come against you in the name of the Lord. Tell your neighbor, enough of running away. Enough of running away. Hey, umetoroka ya kutosha. Sasa si wakati wakutoroka. Waki kuchalenge kidogo unatoroka. Hu ni wakati wakujiambia sitoroki, wacha wawa watoroke. Ay, 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 ay. Si wakati wakutoroka, ni wakati wakusimama gangari. Na useme, I know of a God that helped me kill the lion and the bear. Even the head of this Philistine shall be given to me. If you are a David in your generation, you will always encounter intimidating enemies. Enemies that are talking. You know, it's good to have a silent enemy. An enemy that is talking through Moses, not to you. An enemy that understands protocol. Unajua kuna adui, hakupigagi direct, anafikishia mutu maneno, uyo ni feru. Feru watambia Musa, tunangangana na wewe. Na ye Musa atawambia vile kuliambiwa. Lakini Goliath ni adui, anakuaibisha hadharani, bere ya kila mutu wakiona. The only thing that can silence Goliath is your testimony. Ah. May you receive a testimony that will announce to your enemies that you are not cheap material. Amen. I'm not liking your amen. amen. Nevertheless, I'd carried my amens. I already knew that you will come with an amen wearing a mask. So I carried my amen. I will have a testimony that will tell people to keep quiet. Amen. Oh, thank you for saying amen on my behalf. Now, you will have a testimony that will tell all household witches to leave you alone. If you are in agreement, shout the loudest amen. Tena miujiza bana tukuone. Miujiza ya koi na tutia moyo. Tena miujiza tukuone. Miujiza ya koi na tutia moyo. Ukianza kuimba sita hubiri na taku maliza. Ambia jirani yako tembe, tendewa muujiza. Ambo utakutia moyo. Kupigana na goliadu. Uni wakati wa kukolekti miujiza ya ko hile yote ya mekufanya. Because your testimony is what you use against Goliath. Goliath is not looking at your height. He is not looking at where you come from. Goliath is only interested in challenging the ability of your God. Ah. Goliath is that enemy that challenges the ability. Now that you have trusted God all these years, what do you have to show for it? It can come in form of a voice from somebody or an inner voice telling you that now you have worshipped God all these years. What do you have to show for it? The only thing you can do is pull out your testimony. There is a God who helped me in the wilderness. With the few sheep of my father, I killed a bear with my bare hands. And I killed a lion. And even you, though you are boastful and you are loud, now umenieka hadharani mbere ya watu uwaibisha mungu wa Israeli, because of God, I will bring you down. The motivation of fighting Goliath is not self-glorification. These are kingdom battles. So in all you are fighting, make sure you will fight a battle for God this month. And one of the battles you helped me fight is the battle of Rehoboth. The work of Moses and Joshua was to allocate land, but it was the people that built the house. Don't get too quick. Eh? Nehemiah was not a priest. Nehemiah was a local guy that saw the burden. May God give you the burden of Rehoboth. Because as we go to Rehoboth there, there are enemies that will be silenced. They will never speak again. Let your testimony that God gave you when you are building your own thing be brought here. And say, just as God enabled me to build that two-bedroom house, we shall build the house of God. Imagine if you have built two-bedroom house, if you, you have a single house, if you, you have a testimony of finishing education, miraculously, and we bring all our testimonies here, that house will be complete in less than a year. 
I hope you hear and underline. The work of priesthood is to give land. Have we given you land? Have we given you land? Yes. That is why, because David was a priest, he wanted to build for God. Mm -mm. As much as there was blood in his hand, it, he was a priest. He was a priest by all reasons. It is Solomon the son that built it. Nehemiah was not a priest. He's the one who helped build it. It is your responsibility as a daughter in this house to win the battle over Goliath. When I see a pool of water in that, in that, in that yard, my heart is aching. But it is not me to build, it's you. Hmm? To where one? So all the testimonies of Uliku Nataka Kaumbwa, Mungwa Kapatia Kaumbwa Kwako. You know, break down your testimonies. Don't be complicated. Let your Dawood the answer from his experience. He said, Mother God will help me kill the lion and the bear. When I was taking care of my father's sheep, he will give me the head. And God does not want you to use sophisticated weapon. The same weapon you used, a sling and a shot, is the same one you will take. God will not give you what you are not experienced for. Uh -uh. Tell him, but God is interested in your training. What he has trained you to do is what he will use to kill Goliath. Ignore the magnitude of the Goliath. The issue is not the Goliath. The issue is your training. But the problem with you is you despise your weapons. See, you know, see King Sola, the Jaribu Kumbati Amari. Imagine Kakijada Kadoka Kamebe by K47. But there are Goliath, Kuaguka, Nyang, Yaguka. Ire mshtuko ya sauti. <laughs> Ingiagusha hako kijana. Because the Bible, I think the Bible scholars say he was about 11. So imagine an 11 year old. Awe kwa yamale na awe kwa pewe buduki. Si kitoka hivi kana anguka. Atita miss. So stop trying to look for sophisticated weapons. What is in your hand is what will kill Goliath. Wacha kujijispaisi. Kusema mi vita ni kubwa kuliko we. Nani alisema? If David with no experience could kill Goliath and fall down flat. And do you know the beauty of it? Is that David did not have a sword. He did not need one. He used the sword of the enemy. Kuna mutu atatajirika na biashara ya adu yake. Kuna atu wajasema imen koza ajaire wa vile nimesema. One of us. One of us in this house. Last month she told me. The reverend. There is a person who was her neighbor. We've been praying. We suspect amekuwa kitumia witchcraft. Nini kwa biashara. And do you know? Alikuwa tanamungojia kwa ke kwa biashara. Na mtusi. Anasema kila kitu mbaya. Mbaka mempereka polisi. Kumwaibisha kwa watu. But as we speak right now. Ile duka ilikuwa yake. Alikuja akamuzia. Sasa yeye ndi ya kona shop mbiri. Zimefuatana. We unapiga makofi tu na unajua vile umeteswa na huyo adui wako karibu na wewe. You will not use any sophisticated weapons. Hiyo weapon tu ya adui. Hicho ako nacho kinafanya akuwe na guts za kukupiga ndio kio Mungu atakupatia. Hey, nimeona tu doubt and unbelief. Inafrota hapa kuna mtu tayari ameambiwa na shaitani. Hiyo 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 hiyo. Tayari already hiyo hiyo nasema hiyo ni ama magadhoni hiyo. <laughs> yes, young. Hikyo, hikyo, kigari, anakulingia nakyo, niwewe utanunua. <laughs> I have seen God do it in my life. Because the, the, the remedy or the answer to Goliath is number one, use your testimony. Number two, you do not even need to fight them. They already come with their loaded, with their loaded weapons to kill them. And do you know why God does that? Because he knew David required the sword of Goliath in future. You remember at one time he was fleeing from Saul. And then he needed a sword. And he went to the house of God. And he was so there is no other sword in this house. Other than the sword of Goliath. And David said there is no other better sword than this one. The victories you win today. Ten years to come you will understand. Tell your neighbor that's why you must win this battle. Because it will produce another victory. Stand up on your feet in the name of Jesus. 
I want you to take two testimonies. You have a testimony of the lion and you have a testimony of the bear. Some of you, you even were told that when you were born, you are almost dying. Some of them, even they told you you are not supposed to be born. Those simple testimonies that carry a monument, you are near death experience and God saved you. Lift up your hands and in this house, let us fill this house with testimonies. Let God know that you are grateful. Open your mouth and tell him, Lord, for delivering me from the lion and the bear, I thank you. When your father and your mother died, you thought it was over. But you're still standing. Open your mouth and give him glory. Those watching us on CTN and those watching us online, you have a testimony of what God has done. It is what you will use to kill Goliath. The propelling force behind the sling was the testimony of the bear and the testimony of the lion. It was not his height. It was not the oil. It was nothing. It was the testimony of the lion and the bear. What has God done for you? Appreciate him. Acknowledge him. Uinuliwe Mungu wa ishara Uinuliwe Mungu wa chabu Uinuliwe Mungu wa ishara Shaya ndarabo shataya ndabada Give you all the glory, Jesus. Come on, acknowledge him, acknowledge him. I'll, I'll bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mind. If you have a thanksgiving to bring to God, you can bring it, you can bring it. Bring your testimony of thanksgiving to God if he has fought your battles. It is important to bring your thanksgiving, whether in an offering or whether as a praise offering. Ay, 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 Father, we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory for your offering. Those who are watching us online, you can use 0722-712918. Those who are bringing here, this is not your regular offering. It's a thanksgiving. 
Sometimes God has done so much for us, but we thank him with change. There were many that were healed, but only one came to give thanks. Thanksgiving is a sign of an ending victory. The minute you give thanks, you enter into a realm of an ending victory. So those of us who are giving online, 7 918 is the number to give. God bless those who are watching us online. As everybody else, you tell God thank you. Tell God thank you. For any miracle he has ever done. Your next victory is in your last victory. Uinuliwe Mungu wa ishara Uinuliwe Mungu wa ajabu Oh Uinuliwe Mungu wa uweza fellowship of the Holy Spirit with us now and forevermore. Amen. And surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Take your seed package, your offering package, your tithe. And remember your next victory is in your last testimony. How you treat the last testimony will determine what happens to your next victory want to announce the wedding for the second time between Ben and between Carol and uh, it's the second time so as you are getting ready, make sure that you are getting ready for their wedding that will ha be happening, it should be